गुड इवनिंग वेलकम टू सकल विद्या यूट्यूब चैनल वेलकम यू ऑल टू टुडे सेशन ओके वेलकम इन द लास्ट सेशन एक्चुअली आई हैव कंप्लीटेड 25 फाइव प्रॉब्लम इन प्रॉबिलिटी ओके टूडे वी शेल continue remaining problems fine 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 so ncert problems means i won't discuss now later i will discuss ncert problems any newers are there subscribe like like and share fine 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 okay 25th problem last i will discuss okay कंपलसरी ओके रवि प्रसाद कंदकटला वेलकम फर्स्ट यू नीड टू सब्सक्राइब ओके बालू गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग ऑल फाइन फाइन ओके आई विल रिपीट द ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ प्रॉब्लम डोंट वरी डोंट वरी सो लास्ट विशेल कंप्लीटेड today we will discuss some only simple formula based problems today we shall discuss tomorrow once again we go through the concept based questions okay subscribe good good yes so daily one class actually i am planning because the most of the syllabus has been completed but what we the other people are doing other people are directly copying and pasting the in their uh, respective sites and they are going on uh, explaining our concepts itself only that's why already most of the syllabus has been completed for the sake of you people so i need to help you so that i am uh, continuing the classes otherwise i will stop the classes but i don't stop so it will be continued but it is unethical though they are doing so such type of uh, things Okay, that means without our our permission, they should not use it. Actually, they are not supposed to use. But if they want to use only for the free service, free purpose, they need to use. They need to use. But they are using it for commercial purposes. So that is the. It's not a good for us. But my intention is that anyway, the students. must get get benefit that's my intention without paying a single penny avinash you are very tactical Venkat Raju, how could you join you? Already you joined, no problem. You are in the track. You have been chatting. That's enough. 
today is 7:30 uh, not 7:30 actually tomorrow morning instead of morning 7:30 i might go given the notification for 7:30 pm that's not 70 p 7:30 pm please there is a some notification i need to change it i can check the 7:30 morning tomorrow 7:30 morning you leave it whatsapp group all the whatsapp groups no problem now it's a uh, end of the syllabus okay thank you deepthi suma tomorrow 7:30 morning yes okay right thank you let us start now so 26th problem today i promised you only discuss problems on formulae based on formulae if p of a union b equals to 0.65 p of a intersection b equals to 0.15 then p of a bar plus p of b bar equals to first option is 1.2 second one is 0.2 third one is 0.8 fourth one is 0.6 so this is actually the question is from ipe question only but uh, it was given mc 2003 also it is ipe question itself only but the same similar type of the question has been asked in mc examination also here p of a union b equal to 0.65 given p of a intersection be given that is 0.15 then p of a complement plus b of p b complement you need to find out so that means now the solution you see this p of a bar plus p of b bar this we can write p of a bar is 1 minus p of a yes am i correct p of b bar is 1 minus p of b this we can write 1 plus 1 is 2 minus common p of a plus p of b okay say this is equation 1 now we know that we know that p of a union b addition theorem on probability p of a plus p of b minus p of a intersection b but we need p of a plus p of b p of a plus p of b equals to p of a union b plus p of a intersection b so that means these two terms need to be added now 0.65 plus 0.15 this will be 0.8 but from 1 from 1 here from 1 therefore given expression is equal to given expression is equal to 2 minus 0.8 that's equal to 1.2 so first option is the right option first option is the right option so no postponement concentrate on the class don't discuss don't discuss don't discuss examination will be conducted so governments are so strict right 
57 question if p of a union b equals to 3 upon 4 and p of a bar p of a complement equals to 2 upon 3 then p of a bar intersection b equals to first option is 7 upon 12 second option 1 upon 12 third option is 5 upon 12 fourth option 1 upon 2 this is the question no problem no problem tanuja c p of a union b is equal to 3 by 4 and p of a bar is equal to 2 upon 3 then p of a bar intersection b bar we need to find out okay first we need to have the concept on what is a bar intersection b bar that means a complement intersection b complement so that means first for example with the help of the diagram easily we get the concept for example say this is the sample space universal set for example these two are the events say events for example a event this is b event what we need to find out a complement a complement means a complement means actually this a need to be deleted from s sample space sample space here intersection b intersection b means up to this part up to this part has been deleted that means shade this part so this is the required part green part this green part is nothing but a bar intersection b but this can be written as like this also b minus a also b minus a is same as b minus a is equal to a bar intersection b this is the important concept this is the important concept yes but b not a but b not a that we need to find that means p of b minus a we need to find out very simple now easily we can do solution now p of a bar intersection b equals to we can write p of b minus a okay let me explain what is p p of b minus a p of b minus a means just actually you take another color green color from b if you subtract green color you get p of b minus a p of b minus a only b that means this also we can write p of b this this part is nothing but this part is nothing but a intersection b part from b we need to subtract a intersection b part that means now p of b minus a is equal to we can write p of b minus p of a intersection b so equation one now with the help of these two conditions now we need to find out p of b minus p of a intersection b right so let us proceed now so now first let us find out p of a p of a find out p of a is equal to 1 minus p of a bar because since p of a bar is given just observe it 1 minus 2 by 3 that is equal to 1 by 3 now p of a union b p of a union b is equal to p of a plus p of b minus p of a intersection b this is a formula now from 1 from 1 p of b minus p of a intersection b is replaced by this one so now we are going to replace instead of this 
this we can write p of a plus p of a bar intersection b that means we need this one only so that means now we can write p of a bar intersection b equals to p of a union b minus p of a simply subtract from 3 by 4 1 by 3 so that equals to 3 by 4 minus 1 by 3 here 12 is the LCM 933 is 9 minus 4 so 5 upon 12 5 upon 12 you check it now hi sir is your problems and videos are enough for him set as Rindra simile okay so you believe it first of all see whenever actually if you want to you are continuing the uh, you have been watching the videos means you need to trust on us that's only okay then we already told you several times actually instead of uh, besides these problems you need to practice other problems too so very good all of you very good very good option three absolutely correct this is just with the help of the sets concept these problems can be solved easy manner next 28 problem 28 if P of A intersection B equals to 1 upon 4 comma P of A bar equals to 1 upon 3 P of B equals to 1 upon 2 then P of A bar intersection B bar equals to first option 1 upon 12 second option we have 11 upon 12 third one we have 1 upon 4 fourth one 3 upon 4 3 upon 4. See, P of A intersection B equals to 1 upon 4. P of A bar is equal to 1 upon 3. P of B is equal to 1 upon 2. If P of A bar is given, you can find out very simple manner. P of A easily we can find out. 1 minus 1 by 3, obviously that will be 2 by 3. So now P of A bar intersection B bar we need to find out. See, here a bar intersection b bar is equal to you can write a union b whole bar this is one of the very important property this property is called de morgan law de morgan law de morgan law so a bar intersection b bar is equal to a union b whole bar so with the help of this we can solve this problem now very simple manner see the now the solution let us proceed for the solution here solution is p of a bar intersection b bar so you can have a doubt so can we write p bar into p uh, into p bar uh, p of, sorry can we write p of a bar into p of b bar no because if a comma b are independent events then we can write it but here a comma b are not independent event that that has not been mentioned in the problem if it is mentioned then we are able to write p of a bar into p of b bar so now this we can write p of a union b whole bar this absolutely correct what you said 1 minus p of a union b you need to write this also we can write 1 minus p of a union b means p of a 
minus p of b minus into minus plus p of a intersection b okay even we do not need p of a also 1 minus p of a is nothing but p of a bar only p of a bar minus p of b plus p of a intersection b so let us substitute respective values we know the three values p of a bar equals to 1 upon 3 minus p of b is equal to 1 upon 2 and plus 1 upon 4. So what is the LCM here we have? 12 is the LCM. 3, 4, ja, 2, 6, ja, 4, 3, ja. So 1 upon 12 is the required answer. As you wish. So the simplification depends upon you. So you can do in your own way. Once again, remind me, uh, in between 525 to 530, I will explain that uh, 25th problem also. Twenty ninth problem. <coughs> yes, yes, twenty ninth. Now twenty ninth. If A and B, A and B are any two events, any two events such that such that p of a equals to p1 p of b equals to p2 and p of a intersection b equals to P3. Then P of A bar intersection B equals to first option P3 minus P2, second option P2 minus P3. Third option P1 minus P2. Fourth option P1 plus P2 minus P3. What is the next chapter? So next I want to quit the classes. I won't continue the classes. This will be the last chapter. This will be the last chapter. That's all. Okay. If A and B are any two events, any two events such that P of A equals to P1, P of B is equal to P2, P of A intersection B is equal to P3, then P of A bar intersection B, then we need to find out. Already A bar intersection B are, B bar already discussed. A bar intersection B is nothing but B minus A. And also we have discussed P of B minus A. P of B minus A is equal to P of B minus P of A intersection B. So this you need to remember. This is the tip for this problem. Clue. So now the solution as we need to find out p of a bar intersection p of b equals to that can be written p of b minus a already red color you might observe here this we need to write p of b minus p of a intersection b just check in the given data p of b yes p of 2 given p of a intersection b p of 3 these two values are enough so this equal to p2 minus p3 so that's all p2 minus p3 yes absolutely correct second option 
second option once if you get the concept each and every problem easily you can crack is easy, easy manner Thirty problem number thirty. If P of A intersection B equals to one upon four P of A bar intersection B bar. One upon five and p of a equals to p of b equals to p. They are equal, equally likely events might be. They have the same value. Then the value of p, the value of p. First option eleven upon forty. Second option twenty one upon forty. Third option is thirteen upon forty. Fourth option is seventeen upon forty. What about pair of straight line theory of equations? Where are you, Sachavati? Pair of straight lines already completed. I think you might have not been watching my videos regularly. P of A intersection B equals to one upon four. P of A bar intersection B bar is equal to one upon five, and P of A equals to P of B is equal to P. Then we need to evaluate the value of P. The value of P. Okay, now as given that we have given P of A bar intersection B bar equal to one upon five. So we know A bar intersection B bar is equal to A union B whole bar. This is De Morgan law. Okay, De Morgan law. So this can be written with the help of De Morgan law. P of A union B whole bar equals to one by five. This we can write one minus P of A union B equal to one upon five. Now P of A union B equals to one minus one by five, which equals to four by five. So now, with the help of this, we need to find out now. P of A union B can be written as what? P of A plus P of B minus P of A intersection B equals to four upon five. Both are each equal to P. P. So P plus P minus P of A intersection B is one upon four. Equal to four upon five. Two p equals to four upon five plus one upon four. Twenty is the LCM. Sixteen plus five. Twenty-one by twenty. But we need p. P equals to half times one by two into twenty-one by twenty. Twenty-one by or twenty-one upon forty. Second option. So I don't start anything, please, because everybody, so some few of the other YouTubers are actually copying our content. So even without changing, simply they are taking screenshot and they are pasting in their uh, what we mean uh, PowerPoint presentation or some other. They are going on explaining our concepts itself only. But at least they leave. Questions may be taken, no problem, but they need to write themselves. They were by their own. But what I am doing, I can do that thing also, but that's not good. 
that's why each and every problem i am taking lot of risk i need to take lot of risk to write on the screen it takes lot of time also so that's why now i decided Thirty-first problem. Thirty-first problem. Right. A and B. A and B are mutually exclusive. exclusive events events such that such that such that p of a equals to half times p of b and a union b equals to yes then p of a equals to this question was given in m set 1998 though this question is test book question ip question only 2 upon 3 Second is one upon three. Third is one upon four. Fourth is three upon four. This is the problem. Right. a and b are mutually exclusive events mutually exclusive events means a intersection b is equal to pi there is no common actually elements in both a and b so common events that means elementary events p of a is equal to half times p of b or p of b is equal to 2 times p of a then uh, actually a union b is equal to yes given A union B is equal to S means they are exhaustive events also, mutually exclusive as well as exhaustive events. So now let us solve this problem. Now P of A we need to find out solution. So we have as for the given conditions, subject to the conditions, A intersection B is equal to pi. You can write mutually exclusive. The A union B is equal to S. Okay, now let us find out probability p of a union b here. P of a union b is equal to p of s. Since mutually a comma b are mutually exclusive events, using axiomatic approach, using axiomatic approach, axiom of as uh, actually here axiom of union, the p of a union b is equal to we can write uh, one of the axioms we have discussed. P of a union b is equal to P of a plus P of b, but provided a comma b are mutually exclusive, yes, absolutely given, mutually exclusive. That means P of a union b we can write simply P of a plus P of b. P of s, P of s is also one of the axiom that is probability uh, axiom of certainty, axiom of certainty. That is P of s is equal to one. probability of certain event is always one one you can write and what is the relation we have between these two now you can write simply we need p of a so let us express p of b in terms of p of a that is two times p of a substituting here p of a plus two times p of a 
equal to 1. Obviously, P of A is 1 by 3 only. 3 P of A equals to 1. But therefore, P of A equals to 1 upon 3. Second option is the right option. Yes, absolutely correct. P of A plus P of B is equal to 1. But don't worry, offline session classes, I will record the classes, all the classes, don't worry. Whenever actually examination date will be announced during before examinations, before 7 days or before 1 week, before 1 week, I will post, I will update all the classes. Don't worry, don't worry. Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Right. One of one of the two events. One of the two events. One of the two events. A and B. must occur must occur if p of a equal to 2 third p of b 2 by 3 times p of b then odds odds in favor of b in favor of B is in favor of B is first option is 1 is to 2 second is second option is 2 is to 1 third option is 2 is to 3 Fourth option is 3 is to 2. Right. Okay, leave it now. All of you concentrate. I will discuss later. Don't worry. One of two events A and B must occur. That means both A and B occur. Only there are two events. That means A union B is equal to S given. That is are A comma B are exhaustive events and what is given one of the events A and B must occur here P of A equals to two third of P of B and then odds in favor of B we need to find out and moreover they are mutually exclusive only two events means if one event occurs the other event will not occur that means event of occurrence of A prevents occurrence of B the occurrence of B prevents prevents the occurrence of A. That's why they are mutually exclusive. This three, these two conditions are given. Just like 31st problem only. Now solution write down. As for this data, here A union B is equal to S. Only two event there are. And A intersection B is equal to pi. That means A comma B are mutually exclusive. Mutually exclusive. Exclusive. So, if I take the Zoom classes, what happens means offline viewers will not uh, view. My intention is not that. Uh, my intention is to the universalization of our content, concept. But with, without taking a single money, that's my intention. If I take the Zoom classes, it is only confined to the few members. Right now. So now what we need to do now? Here P of A union B equals to P of S. So, using the axioms, this can be written P of A plus P of B. 
so equals to p of s means 1 and moreover we have this condition odds in favor of b means let us change p of a in terms of p of b only since we have p of a equals to two third of p of b okay now we can write uh, two th two third of p of b plus p of b equals to one now two third of p of b means actually this will be five times of p of b three equals to one that means p of b equals to 3 upon 5. Now find p of b bar. p of b bar is equal to 1 minus p of b. 1 minus p of b means 2 by 5. What's we need, what we need to find out? Odds in favor of. So that means therefore odds in favor of in favor of b is p of b is to p of b bar this is the formula equals to 3 upon 5 is to 2 upon 5 now here 5 5 gets cancelled 5 1 of 5 this is equal to 3 is to is to 2 this is the odds in favor of right fourth option so now you can check all of you once again look at the screen all of you look at the screen look at the screen Absolutely correct. Option 4. Option 4 is the right one. Right. <clears throat> 33. 33. If A, B, C are 3 mutually exclusive exclusive and exhaustive events exhaustive events exhaustive events such that such that p of a equals to 2 p of b equals to 3 p of c then p of a equals to this is ipe problem but already it is a minus b a is to b minus e right that also good okay first option 1 upon 3 second one okay second one two upon five third one 3 upon 8, fourth one is 6 upon 11, 6 upon 11, A, B, C are three mutually exclusive events, that means A intersection, B intersection, C equals to pi 
and exhaustive events. Exhaustive events means A union B union C is equal to S sample space. And with the help of this condition, we need to find out P of E. And using axiomatic approach. Axiomatic approach. So let us do it now. Solution follows. What is given? Given that A union B union C is equal to S because exhaustive events and A intersection B intersection C is equal to pi since they are mutually exclusive and this condition is given. So let us write P of A union B union C P of S. This is P of A plus P of B plus P of C. Probability of sample space S yes, is 1 as for the definition of the axiomatic approach. So now P of B in terms of P of A, P of C in terms of P of A. Let us write it now. So that means this can be done like this. P of A, you keep P of A only. Because you need to find out P of A. P of B is equal to P of A upon 2 plus uh, P of C equals to P of A upon 3 equals to 1. Multiply with the LCM of 2 and 3. LCM of 2 and 3 is 6. Multiply with 6. 6 P of A plus 3 P of A plus 2 P of A equals to 1. So now 6 plus 3, 9, 9 plus 2, 11, 11 P of A, this is 6 only, multiply with 6, 11 P of A equals to 6, therefore P of A equals to 6 upon 11, fourth option is the right option. Fourth option is the right option. Okay, now 34th. 34th question. The probabilities, the probabilities, the probabilities of two events of two events A and B, A and B are 0 0.25 and 0 0.40 respectively. Respectively. The probability that the probability the probability that Both A and B occur is zero point one five. Zero point one five. The probability that the probability that Neither A nor B occur is neither A nor B occur is. 
so that means actually this problem is given actually word verbal problem word problem so now we need to convert into the mathematical language language of mathematics so if you are able to actually convert express in terms of mathematic uh, language of mathematics easily we can solve this problem so now the first option 0.35 second one 0.65 third one 0.5 fourth one 0.75 this is also ip question as well as mset question so this was given in the year of 2002 2000 i think 2000 yes 2000 question the probabilities of the events a b are 0.25 0.40 respectively that means p of a given p of b given and probability that both a and b occur p of a intersection be given and we are asked that neither a nor b occur p of a bar intersection b bar you need to find out neither a nor b that we need to find out so that means actually this question can be done like this 34th question 34th solution so given given here p of a p of a equals to 0.25 p of b what is given p of b 0.40 and p of a intersection b both occurs so both occur is 0.0.15 what we are asked p of a bar intersection b bar is question this is called language of mathematics so now p of a bar intersection b bar can be written p of a union b whole bar using de morgan law this can be written 1 minus p of a union b so that is 1 minus of p of a minus p of b plus p of a intersection b so let the respective values need to be substituted 1 minus p of a 0.25 minus 0.40 plus 0.15 this is adding this and this we get 1.015 minus adding these negative values negative of what do you get now 65 i am very poor in calculations now it's correct okay let us perform the simplification now 1.15 from this one 0.65 need to be subtracted 0 is 5 absolutely this will be 0.50 or 0.5 yes yes sai teja bindu suma okay om shri krishna correct bindu also vishnavi vinayaki ah uh, yes 1.15 right correct only Ah yes, sir. I have written zero here, but I deleted that one. One point one five. Okay, I will correct it now once again. I will correct it. Thank you. One point one five. Now okay. Zero point five. Third option. Thirty-five question. Thirty-five. Yes, not level one. They are actually M set questions only. In a competition, in a competition, 
इन ये कॉम्पिटिशन ए बी एंड सी आर पार्टिसिपेटिंग आर पार्टिसिपेटिंग participating the probability the probability the probability that a wins a wins in twice twice of b twice that of b twice that of b that means p of a is equal to p of two times p of b the probability the probability that the probability that b wins b wins in twice that of c that of c then the probability then the probability that a losses is first option 1 upon 7 second option 2 upon 7 third option 4 upon 7 fourth option 3 upon 7 this also ip problem textbook problem itself only but this question was given m set 2001 m set 2001 question this is <coughs> right in a competition three members are participating a person b person c person only three that means actually there are three events the these three events includes a sample space a union b union c is equal to sample space they are mutually exclusive that means if a wins b and c both will lose the matches if b wins a c both will lose the match if c wins a b both will uh, lose the match so that means they are mutually exclusive events so that means with the help of this data what we can write in the language of mathematics so it need to be write as a, a mathematical language so p of er p of a, uh, sorry a union b union c is equal to sample space yes a intersection b intersection c is equal to pi that means they are mutually exclusive events and after that a probability that a wins is twice that of b p of a is equal to p of b probability that b wins twice that of c p of b is equal to 2 times p of c then we need to find out probability that a losses a losses means p of a bar we need to find out so this is the idea we need to cre create whenever the any new problem is there not only this problem any problem we need to design a plan in our mind then we need to implement it that's called executing so that's called we need to devise a plan and we need to implement it so that we will get the answer okay let us solve this 35 problem now 35 as far as the uh, data is concerned actually here in the competition a b c are participating that means a comma b comma c are mutually mutually exclusive exclusive and exhaustive events exhaustive events events that is a union b union c is equal to sample space yes 
and a intersection b intersection c is equal to nothing pi so now here we are asked p of uh, what is given one more thing p of a is equal to 2 times p of b whereas p of b is equal to 2 times p of c from this we can write uh, p of a equals to we can write 2 times 2 times p of c this is 4 times p of c enough this data so now we need to apply the concept of the axiom of probability so that means axiomatic approach of the probability so that means we need to write p of a union b union c equals to p of s so axiom of union you can write p of a plus p of b plus p of c equals to axiom of certainty 1. Now p of b equals to let us write in terms of uh, p of b in terms of p of a you need to write that is 1 upon p of b uh, p of a upon 2 plus p of c in terms of p of a that is p of a upon 4 equal to 1 multiply with 4 4 p of a plus 2 p of a plus p of a equals to 4 after prior simplification 6 7 p of a 7 p of a is equal to 4 p of a equals to 4 upon 7 but this is not our answer so our answer is actually we need to find out p losses uh, sorry a losses absolutely sorry a losses probability of that is equal to p of a bar p of a bar is equal to 1 minus p of a it must be clear i think so 1 minus 4 upon 7 7 minus 4 is 3 upon 7 this answer 3 upon 7 is the answer right fourth option okay now i discuss uh, Twenty-fifth problem, right? Twenty-fifth problem. I discussed twenty-fifth problem. Okay, now uh, solution. Let me read the question once again. The letters of the word M set. Number of letters, write down. Number of letters is equal to here one, two, three, four, five, six, six, six letters out of six. Here, ovals write down. What are the ovals? Ovals are E, E, A. Three ovals. That means there are two E's out of them. Remain rest are uh, different. Now, let us write here. First, N of S let us write. N of S is equal to 6 factorial upon here 2 e's are there that means 2 factorial 6 factorial means 720 upon 2 factorial is 2 that will be 360 okay now what is the condition no two ovals come together no two ovals come together means here consonants write down what are the consonants consonants what are the consonants consonants are actually m c T. M C T. First, let us ar arrange the consonants first. Let them be arranged. M C T. So now these consonants can be arranged in three factorial ways. Three factorial means that is six ways. Now in between them, how many gaps are there? One, two, three, four gaps. In four gaps, we need to select three vowels so that can be selected for three ways and we need to arrange them how to arrange them three factorial 
upon 2 e's are there. That means 2 factorial. 4 c 3 is 4 c 1. 3 factorial by 2 factorial means 6 by 2, 3. This is 3 into 4, 12. So now here, let us say event is n of e, uh, e, n of e equals to 6 times you can write 12. 6 times 12. That is 72. Now P of E, required event. No two ovals come together. N of E upon N of S. So 72 upon 360. 36 2 ja, 36 10 ja. 2 1 ja, 2 5 ja. 1 upon 5. That means first one is the right option. First one is the right option. Yes, that was also correct, but actually calculation mistake may be there. But I have the alternative method also. I know the alternative method also. But in that in that time, actually keeping you of the time, I didn't explain it. Ah, you tell shortcut in three dice problem. Okay. Yes, 360 minus 72, 288. Right, absolutely correct. Okay, you can add the doubts, no problem. So that I will rectify them in the latter classes. Ah, uh, yes, vowels should not come together. Vowels should not come here. See, the cross marks are there. Now see, in between this M, C, T consonants. So now the vowels are arranged here. Vowels are arranged means this here vowel, say vowel one, vowel two. Oval 3, oval 4. 4 chances are there. But only here we have 3 vowels. One place will be left. That's why we need to select 3. 4C3. Three. Now the 3, these 3 vowels can be arranged 3 factorial, but 2 E's are there. 2 factorial. Okay. Thank you now. Once again, see you. Have a nice day. Okay. Ah, yes, 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 yes. That is the very lengthy method, but we have easy method also there. Uh, I have explained the lengthy method, but it's very easy, I think so. Very easy. So, always actually I search for the easy methods itself only, but whenever I get the idea, so that depends upon my class situation, so I will discuss the problems. But moreover, I always try to give the easy methods and very uh, easy method. But I, explanation I will give more because that need to be any offline viewers are there. They are able to understand that one besides you people also. That's why I will give more explanation. But you need not worry about the explanation. Simply you remember in the probability problems, what is N of S and what is N of E. What is N of S means total. What is N of E means favorable. Simply favorable by total is always the problem. That's all. But sim very simple calculation, simple only probability. But it requires more explanation to understand the concept. That's why I generally I give more emphasis on the explanation rather than the problem uh, getting formula method actually. You can do rest of the thing. Very simple manner. Okay. Thank you. Bye. See you.